Okay, now with respect to reference frames, um, one of the things that we should realize immediately is that an event which takes place, uh, an event being uh, something which has a particular point in space and a particular time. Okay, so an event generally does not have the same coordinates in one reference frame compared to the other. Okay. So it has different coordinates in different reference frames. Okay? So for example, in S, uh, with the example I gave above, okay, the coordinates we can designate as X, Y, Z, and time. Okay, so we all have, always have to keep track of time. Uh, in S prime, uh, we would have X prime, Y prime, Z prime, and T prime. And we'll discuss later how different kinds of transformations allow you to go back and forth between the unprimed and the prime coordinate systems, but we're not there yet. Um, the other thing is that um, changes in the coordinate values um, are also not um, are also not necessarily the same between uh, the different reference frames. Okay, so they can also be different. And in general, they are different. Okay, so again, in S, we would have delta X, delta Y, delta Z, and delta T, while in S prime, we would have delta X prime, delta Y prime, delta Z prime, and delta T prime. Now some of you may be wondering already why uh, the T prime and T or delta T prime and delta T are not the same. We're just being, at this point, we're being completely general, but we'll find out later that in fact that having those two designations is actually important in special relativity, Einstein's special relativity. So with respect to the velocities, since velocities are given just by the time derivative, um, with the res with respect to the um, with yeah the, in the respective coordinate systems, um, so for example, I'll say the velocity of an object with respect to the s reference frame. Uh, and here I'll, I'll, I won't yet um, use the differential notation, but uh, uh, difference notation. Uh, then we can also say that, that in general, since these differences are not the same, that the velocities are also not the same measured in the different reference frames. Okay, so a question arises, how do we know which of these reference frames or which reference frame out of all the ones is the correct one? And what we'll find out is that we don't. Okay? In fact, all reference frames are equal, at least if they um, are not accelerating.